Well, hi, it's David in the Stained Glass Studio, and on this video, we're going to show you the fourth of the desk set projects. Now, this is a pencil cup or uh, a candle holder, and there are so many things you can do to vary this. You can change the colors, you can make it taller for a pencil cup, you can make it shorter for a candle holder. You know, so there's a lot you you might want to experiment with. And in the meantime, I'm working on this, which is the worst uh, repair I've ever done in my life. I'm going to put a video up of it, and it's a video of the things you don't want to do. First thing I should have done was say no. All right, here we go on our project. Okay, here we go. This is the... Uh, candle or pencil cup. Now I've made these a little bit shorter because this is a candle holder but the pencil cup I think I called out three inch long and these aren't three inches but the the technique of building it is exactly the same. Now what I'm doing is I'm placing the joint very close but not right quite on. I want there to be a slight gap Otherwise, I might not be able to, they, these pieces might not fit. And I'm leaving them out away from one another until I get a couple of them in, in place. And I'll, then I'll know how they're going to fit together. In fact, those two will probably tell me if I can now tip them up. See, I just don't like that. So I'm going to okay I've got that and it's more at a 90 degree now closer to 90 and let's see I'm trying to decide which side's up on this one so now what I'm doing is I'm letting the, the these two touch one another okay that's These are really interesting constructions because you start out with something that's pretty floppy, but as you go around and you tack in the different pieces, the geometry of the of the glass is such that it gets stronger and stronger because there's so many different angles. See, it's really trying to grow on me. So I have to keep putting these pieces towards the outside edge or I'll have a severe fit problem. And as it is, I think I think I'm to that point where I need to well maybe if I just keep putting it out a little bit farther
And what I've got going on here is it's just a little bit low. So I'm trying to pick it up. Now with any luck, this one will fit. Okay, so now on the bottom, there's a little bit of a gap, but I'll be able to fill that pretty easily. And I can show you how, how we fill a gap. What we do is we get our tip nice and clean, but also cool it down by touching it to the sponge several times and then with a cool iron I can get the, um, the solder to somewhat bridge from one piece to the other. Then I come back in the spots where there are holes and I fill those holes but you gotta get on and get off really quick or else it'll heat up too much and then drip through. Then I can come back for kind of a beauty pass. Do that one more time so you can see how it's done. The iron I'm using is a Weller 100. It's temperature controlled so I'm not able to turn it down like I do on a, when I'm using a regular Rhea strap. So I have to just get on and get off real quick. And that drip through, so I have to let that cool for a moment. Okay, now I just want to show you how, how one of these edges goes. And it's pretty much the same way, except the entire gap fills up as you uh, do your pass and so more than likely I'll only have to do one pass on each one of those.
All right, well, this has been fun, hasn't it, Jeannie? Yeah, we made a lot yeah. of things today. We've got our brochure holder and our card holder. We needed those. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could put a candle in the candle holder, but instead we decided to show you how it'll make a nice, uh, uh, what, pencil, pencil holder. holder on your desk. And so we've got paper. Here's our PDFs all sitting here, ready for the next uh, demonstration we do. And, of course, we're burning incense just to pollute the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. Well, to show it works. And, uh, and to make it even look more like a desk, we've got our, our gone stained glass coffee mugs. Okay, and well, we just want to encourage you to uh, look at, for all the other videos that we've got. Uh, I think we've got some really good projects, and you might find them to be fun. A lot of fun. And we also have uh, stained glass mandalas for meditation. Um, lots of ideas in here for more mandalas and different patterns to make, so you can have a fun time. Yeah, as a matter of fact, here's one that's going to go in Jeannie's third book. She's almost got her second one done on mandalas, and this one, tell them about this one. Well, I've been doing some studying on Carl Jung and how he um, does a lot of mandalas. And so this is just kind of an idea coming from uh, his work and research. So yeah, just having, I'm, having fun. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think and she's got all the windows finished and the designs finished for the stained glass mandalas for success mm -hmm. book. But we just have to put it together. Yeah. And... Uh, and then this one will be the third one. So I guess we better hurry up and get that one done. Huh? I guess so. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining Thanks. us. Thank you. I hope that was fun for you. Uh, we will be putting up more videos. Um, we're going to first put up the one about this door repair, which has just given me fits. We're also going to do the install of the airport windows, but we're not sure when that will come along. And then we're going to take another one of our project videos and take it apart and give you segments of it. So more, more projects, more things to do. It'll be fun. Thanksgiving is approaching, and I want to wish you a happy time. Hope that uh, this finds you just having the best time and being appreciative of the things you're thankful for. All right. We'll see you next time.